So the next tool in there is the star tool, just clicking on that. Again, if you just click on the inside of this, this will give you a radius for the inside and the outside points of the star, how many points it's going to have. I'll put seven on there, click OK, and there's the star itself. Again, just a shape. Unless you know your measurements, that type of thing, it's a little tricky. And the alternative, as you've seen before, is taking the uh, exact tool. I'll give it a blue as if I just drag again. This lets you rotate it around, increase with the arrows the amount of points that are going to be in the star. So say I go down to this part, you can see it's almost like a polygon. So what I need to do is to hold the command key down, and the command key lets you locate the inner radius of that piece. And if you hold the shift key down, you'll get, a, get yourself with the option, a straight star, and the shift key keeps it horizontal, perpendicular, horizontal, onto that piece. So you've seen that type of a star before. Try it again if you take a different uh, approach. And this gives you the overall uh, look to it. So now... If you hold the command key down, it lets you set the inner radius and still connect or stretch out the outer. If you let go of the command key, it lets you increase or decrease. The arrow keys let you add all the different star points to it. And you can go inside or outside, depending on which way you want this image to look. So it builds it up to that section. Okay? So the star key. Setting that part up. Again, clicking, it rotates it. Command lets you set the inside of the of the section for it. Shift key will keep it as a straight section. Make sure you have the right tool. And here I'm just decreasing with the arrow held down. <clears throat> There's the shape. Command will set that out, outside point. And that'll get you the amount of star star shapes that you would like. So see if you can create a number of different stars from that point of view.